Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, internet friend, this is Magic Brad, just having some fun here. Sorry for the glare in the glasses here, my little peepers. Um, just doing this, uh, just a casual sitting on the couch video, so nothing fancy. Sorry if the lighting is bad, but what I'm going to show you is my dashboard inside of the platform called Kartra. And if you're not familiar with Kartra, it's kind of like ClickFunnels or Lead Pages. It's a it's a builder that uh, it's a pretty powerful tool because of uh, the landing pages and opt-in pages and thank you pages and um, the the list building and the tagging capabilities. And I'm so I'm going to show you. And I'm not going to do this real long. It's just going to be a condensed version so you understand what Kartra is. And in full disclosure, I'm a Kartra affiliate. And if you want to utilize Kartra, you can go to magicbrad.com and scroll to the bottom. There's a Powered by Kartra link, and you can click on that, and you can uh, try Kartra for yourself. So Kartra, K-A-R-T-A. So let me uh, do my screen share, and I will show you the uh, actual dashboard of Kartra. So sharing screen, Chrome tab, there it is, share. So, boom. Right now you should be seeing my, this, there it is, off to the side. So you're seeing my uh, Kartra page. This is the very first page of Kartra, and I'll start at the very top right here with the different products. So all these different tabs, these are the things that you can do with it. You got products, communications via email, building of pages, you can create different forms, you can do membership sites, you can uh, host videos, you can create calendars and help desks and campaigns and integrate with other platforms. You can actually create a marketing agency if you wanted to do that. And then there's affiliates, uh, affiliate programs that are available also. So in products, this is from when I did my trade shows, and uh, you know, since COVID, the trade show world and the event world has shifted. But here's the different products that I've got in here. I've got the uh, back wall booth, and I got the tabletop booths. I've also got a uh, program for my basic interviews when I do my my interviews. I've got all these documents that I had created. These are uh, how-to documents for the event planners and event marketers. So I've got all these products listed in here. So I will open one up and give you an example of what the what what's entailed in the product, and we'll just go with the first one here. This is for the the event expo back wall booth. And now this isn't active right now because I'm not doing the expo until COVID is over. But uh, just to give you an example of what's inside as far as a product, we'll just go right into editing the current existing product that I have here. I maybe should have created a new one, and that would have given you a better idea of, of what this is, but you get the product details in here and you can add a little picture. I'll give you an example of what that is. You got the internal name and the official name. And uh, you can choose whether to put it in the park marketplace so that uh, affiliates can sell the product or you keep it private. And that's what I've done. Then you got payment processing, whether you want to use uh, a credit card or PayPal, it's up to you. So that's the uh, basics of um, creating a product. And you go through and you do all these other little things where you set up the pricing for the product. Um, I've got the booth prices are at $5.97. That's at a discount from what it used to be. And then if you're doing shipping, if you're going to mail your product, if you've got to put tax on there or refunding, all of those elements are in there. And you go to the next stage would be the pages that it's for. So there's a product page. It was developed over here, a page for each one of these products where you would, uh, like a sales page where you'd talk about all the benefits and features for the product. And then there's a thank you page for when they opt in and they, they move along from the opt-in form, a um, little thank you that says, hey, thank you for your order when they buy the product. And then you advance along a little further. Uh, there's the checkout and how the checkout page feels. You can put a, a you know, branding, you can put a logo in here if you have to do that. Um, then if you got something complicated where you need a help desk and do a little support thing for them. There's different fields you can add in your checkout form. Maybe you just want the name and the, the company and such. Or maybe you want the phone number and the ad address and all that. How many products they can buy. 
um, the language, terms and conditions, all these different things. And then uh, go to the next element is the post sale. So how do you fulfill that thing? This is another thing that's cool too is the list that the that these customers would go into. You can have multiple lists. Like if you've got a certain list for one customer versus another customer, you can have set, keep them segmented and separate. And you can tag these customers so they'll end up being unique to that specific list. And then how do they access that product? This is how they would download that, whether it be a digital product or if you're going to ship it to them. And then there's more advanced stuff here too. So going a little step further, this is where you'd hook up affiliates if you wanted affiliates to help you sell your product or service. And then we'll get into the... A lot of this stuff that I don't use. Um, I do have the order form on here. That's for the back wall booth. This is the landing page that the affiliate would land on. Um, having affiliates sell your product, that's a whole uh, project in and of itself. So that's the basics of creating a project, a product. So now I'll get into the communications element of it. This is where your leads would be. Then you can create separate lists and you can, like I said, tag them different ways. So you got all, all the leads. I don't have a lot of leads in here. I've got about 173. And that's because I use this specifically more for warm leads and people that are actual, actual purchasing customers actually bought something. So I don't have a huge list with this because of that. So here's the different lists I've got. I've got one for my Synergy First Thursdays when I was focusing on that. And then I've got a, just a general list of everybody that comes into the thing. You can have multiple different types of lists and things. And then, like I said, the tags. Now, this is powerful because you can tag these different people with different um, offers or products so that it's relevant as you go through with all these things. So there's the, I got this YouTube subscriber club that I created, my Magic Brad show, Magic Brad TV, Magic Brad, my brand. So there's a lot of different uh, tags that I just, uh, when someone opts in, there's certain things, parameters that if they do certain, take certain actions, you can tag them with something. And that helps you keep your your lists and your interest levels separate from all these different people. And then when you get into the more of the communication, you can either do broadcast emails, just more one-off broadcasts, or you can also do sequences. And when you do a sequence, let me give you an example of that in the Synergy Collaborative sequence that I've got here. I will open that up and show you. I got about 64 people in there that are going through these automated sequences. So the sequence builder allows you to create separate emails and each one of these emails happens at a certain date and time. So they go through these, uh, these passing these rules and it goes into the first email that gets sent out immediately. This is just, uh, for me, it's greetings from the Synergy Collaborative. And then seven days later, they get a second email. And then 10 days after that, they get another email. And then 15 days after that, they get another email. And then there's the complete email that stops the sequence so they don't keep getting barraged with emails. So that's a super powerful thing that uh, Carter does for you. And then there's the automation element of it. There's also the analytics. So if you want to take a look at uh, what's happened with some of the, uh, the people, uh, let's say, in, the, in these lists that I've got, you can kind of see when there's a spike or something that has happened. There was uh, 17 people here on the 16th that unsubscribed from my list. So I had a massive unsubscribing. I can look at this and see what in the heck did I do on August 18th that caused 17 people to all of a sudden unsubscribe. And then the green here, you got people subscribing. So at the same time on that August date, I had uh, three people subscribe. So they, that happened from some other stuff that's out there on the internet. So now I'm going to get into the pages feature with this. You can create multiple different um, landing pages. They have a lot of them that you can select from. Like if I started a new and I was just doing a fresh one, you can select from all these different types of squeeze pages or video sales pages. They're all pre-done for you, so you don't have to do a lot. You just go into them and just edit them. Video sales pages where maybe there's uh, you doing a little video introduction to the product. 
all sorts of different. Uh, I can't go through all these and try and show them to you because there's just tons of them. Um, thank you pages, long sales pages, coming soon pages, product launch pages, product review pages, webinar registration pages, checkout pages, um, error pages, upsell pages, membership login, live event pages, affiliate pages, legal pages. There's a lot here to do this stuff. <laughs> Then there's also forms. You know, there's multiple different types of forms here. Basically, forms are this—they're pretty much the same. You got your email and your name, probably phone number, or if you want to do a more complex form, you can add address, city, state, zip, uh, whatever information you're trying to collect. But I create different forms for different purposes. They're all very similar; they just have different purposes on different pages. So I got a lot of different forms for different reasons. Okay. And there's a, also membership sites if you want to create a subscription-based thing. And I was about to move a thing that I had the Synergy Collaborative on a separate website that I got rid of because there's no point in having something I don't need when I can do it right here in Kartra. So the Synergy Collaborative's got uh, a membership element to it, and you can create that in here. And then if you want to host your own videos, you can do that in here too. Here's one from my Event Planner Expo that's hosted in here. Um, a lot of my videos that I host, I host, host them on YouTube. That's why you don't see a lot of videos here. There's also a calendar feature, um, which is kind of nice because you can hook that up with your, with your uh, scheduling your classes or courses or whatever. Um, currently, I'm not using this, and the reason is, quite honestly, the calendar uh, is kind of generic, and it doesn't have a lot of flair to it, and I personally like the one that I'm using my scheduler, but I may switch to this calendar. And I haven't really looked a lot into it. It's possible I can make it look a lot fancier by doing some color codes and stuff to it. You can also create a help desk if you want uh, you know, to have a, uh, a place where people can get support on whatever it is that you're selling. You can create all that whole thing. And there's a whole list of campaigns. A lot of these two are um, pre-done, so they're already done for you. You can just uh, copy someone else's uh, funnel and then just change it up to match your personal um, needs and desires. So that's the basic elements of Kartra. I'm going to get out of this and get back to it. Stop sharing my screen. Hi, I'm back. So hope this was enlightening for you. It'll be gone for about uh, 12, almost 13 minutes. Um, I'm going to publish this up on my YouTube channel and uh, so that it'll be available there if you need it for a future. And the way you can get to my YouTube channel is if you go to, we'll put it on here. Da, 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 da. You go to magicbrad.com. Right on that page, there's a button. You can go right to my YouTube channel. Okie dokie. That's it. Peace, love, and happiness. Enjoy the rest of your day. I've got an interview i got to do in about a half an hour, and I enjoy doing these interviews. If you're uh, interested in getting uh, in, you can go to The Magic Brad Show, and I can interview you about your product or service. Or if you just want to schedule a time to talk, we can do that too. Okay, peace. Be well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.